black beauty coming in through the door here. I'm kind of a leaker. <laughs> Got no six Ford F-150 here. Stay tuned. All right, so with this Ford, we got a couple things going on. One, this alternator wasn't put in right. I don't even know how you screw an alternator job up, but people do. Um, the big reason why it's here, we got a severe leak. We're pretty sure it's engine oil. We got to make sure we're diagnosing this correctly. Fortunately, we're going to have to do some teardown to get to the bottom of this. So this fan shroud is going to come out of the way just so we can get some room. But if you look underneath. I mean, it looks like engine oil to me, and it's all over the suspension components, all over the CV axle. And with these, they do have a problem with the uh, oil cooler, because the oil cooler and inlet for the coolant hose is all in the same assembly. And it's a little plastic gasket that breaks, and once that, you got full line pressure basically being blown out of it. And this 06 is pretty tight to work on, so... We'll see, but we're going to do some teardown off camera. Just one of those things, we're trying to shorten up our videos a little bit. We know people just want to see the meat and potatoes of it. So, basically, if you got this going on, get your shroud out of the way. There's just not a lot of room to work on this thing, unfortunately. So, we'll get back to you when we get this thing opened up a little bit. We're uh, fairly sure it's the oil filter. Someone poked a hole in it or something. But, we're going to actually get this on camera started up for you yeah we tore it down just no room to see we got some other things to fix anyway but yeah it looks like it's actually pouring right from the oil filter and looking at the dents look like someone tried to tighten it up with a tool it's ridiculous you don't do that I'm gonna have you started again get underneath and show you so you can actually see it on high def Oh lordy lordy, why do people do such bad work? It's Ford. Ford tough. We can tell this filter's been on for a minute. Kev, how tight you think that is? Not tight, so why did they have to... Is this a Fram failure? you're going to say we're just going to change the oil the short answer is yes but to verify the leak we have to make sure that it's not the oil filter doing it before we start doing a major teardown that's not needed super duper clean now we were pre-filling filters but a couple smart brains smarter than me I guess you know they say don't do it and the reason being is you can contaminate the filter before it even has a chance to do its job so we're not pre-filling anymore and on top of that this filter sits sideways and most of it would leak out anyway been a source of uh, YouTube controversy here for about a year now. But I watch uh, Ford Boss Man, and I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen his work on Fords, it's pretty phenomenal. So I'm going to listen to a guy that uh, does this for a living, specializes in Ford. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so lube your filter. 
don't pre-fill especially coming out of a bag I don't know if I'd necessarily trust it I don't think I've ever seen that before it's affordable affordable Ford Ford affordable 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 I was hoping it was just a box of quart fluid That filter looks a little big for that housing. That's the correct filter, huh? Mm -hmm. wow. Hey, how tight you make these filters there, Kev? I just go hand tight, man. Yeah, we got a little more in hand tight, but you definitely don't need to get a tool on it. I hope I see the Ford logo, but I guess not. No. Nah. You get white. <laughs> All right, start it up, see if you still got leaky leaky. First ever seeing a uh, Fram filter fail. All right, so I took some uh, brake cleaner and cleaned this filter off. Cause I'm trying to figure out if this was installer's mistake or Fram filter failure. And right here is where it was leaking. There's no obvious signs that it had a pinhole leak. I think what happened was the guy tried to actually torque it on with a wrench and blew a hole in it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, I don't want to blame Fram if it's not their failure, but there's the pinhole leak right there. So, one thing about it, when you do oil filters, you don't need to torque them on. And I don't know if this thing was leaking before that and they mistake the power steering leak this thing had for the oil leak that it didn't have and they put a tool to it made it worse don't know let me know what you think in the comments installation error fram filter failure all right other than that the leaks fixed solved we got it all back together so you know other than that we're done with this job moving on to the next but if you like this type of content be sure to subscribe we'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>